Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to fill in the background of your line section on your poster. Um, what we're going to be filling the background in with is patterns of lines and um, wh what that's going to do is it's going to make our font that we designed last class pop out. Okay. Now um, there's a couple rules that you're going to need to remember when filling in your background. Um, well first let me just remind you that you need to outline with Sharpie and we're going to use a fat Sharpie to outline our line section. The background though the patterns that we're going to use um, should be done with a skinny Sharpie, okay, and ultra fine. All right. Now there's three rules when we're filling in the background. We're going to pick a type of pattern, and we're going to do three things. First of all, we're only going to do a pattern this big, okay? It should only be about the size of your pinky finger, the tip of your pinky finger. Um, once you've gone this far with a pattern, you're going to change the pattern change the direction that you were going and change the value. So here you can see three different types of values um, with a pattern. So this is a very light pattern because the lines are further apart. This is a medium pattern and this is a dark. Okay. Now the closer the lines are, or the thicker the lines, the darker it's going to appear. If you squint your eyes, you can see the values pop out um, better. So if you're unsure, just squint your eyes and, and that should show you. All right, so here I go. I'm going to start filling in my line section. And um, I'm going to start off really simple. I'm just going to do a medium value um, lines. I'm just going to crisscross them. Okay? Now notice that I've only gone about as far as my pinky, and now I'm going to do three things. I'm going to switch, um, I'm going to change patterns, I'm going to change direction, and I'm going to change the value. So now instead of going diagonal, I'm going to go straight across, and I'm going to do dotted lines, and I'm going to fill my dots in, and that's going to make it appear darker. Okay? So here you can see, filling these in, dotted lines, going a different direction, a different value, um, and a different pattern. All right, so that's about as big as my pinky finger. All right, now I'm going to move on to do maybe a lighter value, and this time I'm going to go this direction. Okay, spread, spread these lines apart. It's going to make it appear lighter. Okay, and remember I'm only going as far as my pinky. And you also want to make sure that you go up underneath your letter so that it appears that the pattern is under the letter. Okay, maybe now I'll go back to doing a darker value. The more patterns you're able to get in your background, the more interesting your background is going to be. Okay. So about the, about the length of my pinky, and now I'm going to switch. And what you're going to do is you're going to fill in your entire background. Make sure you go all the way up to the edge of the letter. All right, so that it looks as though the letter is on top of the background. And when it's done, you can see that... Um, it looks really interesting. All the different types of patterns in there, and you can really see the dark. If you squint, you can see the dark po areas pop out. You can see lighter areas and medium value areas. Okay. Um, today you should get about halfway um, behind the L and the I, and then next time we'll finish by doing behind the N and the E.